Hi, welcome to our channel. We are Pulok and Shishmita. So we're going to make this video about how you can publish a paper while you are in undergraduate years. So I'm Shishmita as I said and I'm currently working as the senior house officer in cardiology at Imperial College NHS Healthcare Trust. And I recently, uh, I just recently passed my PLAP2 examination and I'm waiting for my GMC registration. I published my first international uh, article when I was in my fourth year of the medical school. And by the time I complete my, uh, I complete my undergraduate study, uh, I had eight international uh, articles that are published in uh, many high, fact, uh, high impact factor journal as well. And uh, I have 50 citations so far. And I published my first paper when I just passed my final prof examination and till now I have eight publications and 101 citations. So this videos, in these videos we are going to pin down what are the tips that we have for the undergraduates, how they can publish their paper while they are in their undergraduate years. First point is you can start working as a research volunteer. It can be regional, just maybe some of your seniors in medical college are working in a project, ask them whether you can volunteer them and the easiest way of volunteering is participating in data collection so you can probably volunteer in data collection um, it can also be national and even international so i had my first paper published actually through not first paper published but i had my first project through a collaboration with university of japan where i did uh, work as a research volunteer which eventually published my paper so you can involve yourself as well Secondly, maintain an enriched LinkedIn profile. So LinkedIn is a, basically a platform where you will find people with your similar thoughts uh, and you will also get to learn about the different projects they are working on. So um, you can directly uh, message the people uh, that if you are interested in working with them in any particular project uh, and also uh, you can share what you are up to academic wise, uh, whether you are completing a course or attending a workshop. So when I uh, completed a large data analysis course, uh, I shared that on the link uh, in, in LinkedIn and I have got messages from the PhD candidates uh, and they are asking me if I could join into their projects. So uh, it turned out to be a great learning opportunity for me. Our third advice is to attend all the workshops, seminars, conferences that you can because these are some wonderful opportunities where you can find and meet and learn and grow with the same minded people. So I attended my first conference in 2020 virtual Rimscon and I met some amazing people in there who I eventually worked with later, published papers, but they also helped me grow professionally. So these are some wonderful opportunities which I will always advise to take. So our fourth advice is learn some skills. So when you will approach to someone and you would like to contribute and they obviously want to know how you can contribute and what are the skills you have. So, you sh uh, so it's wise that you should gather some technical and non-technical skill. So there are some steps. In the first step, start learning with Microsoft Office, mostly with the Microsoft Word, PowerPoint presentation and also uh, Excel. Okay, and also develop some soft skill such as communication. How will you uh, communicate with your supervisor, your professor, and how you will uh, write something for them, like the scientific writing methods. Okay, so when you have, uh, when you are done with this, let's move to the next point. So at that point, you will learn some more technical skill such as data analysis and manuscript writing. Okay, and also. Uh, learn how you will how you will talk publicly the public speaking skill and also uh, uh, presentation skill these are the most important and you will eventually need it if you want to become a researcher so our final advice is start working as a research assistant maybe part-time or get involved doing an internship research internship so I did work as a research assistant in BK School of Research and I published three papers from there and I did a three month research internship and I met my wonderful supervisor in there and I published a paper in a very high impact journal as well and we do have some recommendations so these recommendations are based on our experiences so they might be based in Chittagong and mostly of course Bangladesh um, so our recommendations are BK School of Research School of Research Chirugung University Research and Higher Study Society, CURHS, and Creeks, Chirugung, Universe, uh, Chirugung Research Institute for Children and Surgery, and 
obviously I said it your way. Uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to let us know if you found this video useful or not. And we'll put all the links in our description box below. Thank you. Thank you.